Yo, what's up? It's you over me. So this update video is probably long overdue, but um, if you're new to the channel, uh, I built and launched Studio Time, which is the Airbnb for music studios and still run it today. Um, it is a, you can think of it like, of course, the Airbnb for music studios. So it is an online marketplace. Um, but recently, uh, we actually removed payments from the marketplace. So we don't use Stripe Connect Custom anymore to process payments for bookings. Um, and uh, I can get into why we did that and then kind of our uh, revenue model, which is subscription based for studios to have a listing in another video. But I want us to do just a kind of brief um, kind of walkthrough on our current on the live marketplace now, um, just kind of walking through the uh, booking request and uh, different kind of flows. So that way you could uh, see how the marketplace has kind of changed since the last videos that I did. So I'm on studio time right now. I'm logged in as a user and I'm actually just uh, on my own listing from another account. So you can see this right here. This is uh, my home studio, Santa Monica. So this is the listing. You're probably kind of familiar with it. Um, we did add some like uh, service add-ons right here. Um, and there's some other kind of details that we added. Uh, so you can see all this. This is live on the uh, actual site, as I mentioned. But we'll just kind of walk through the uh, booking request. So here's on the right is kind of the uh, select. So we have a date select right here. So as you can see, I can select the eighth. Then we have a start time and end time for the booking. So for instance, I can just go down here and select 8 a.m. Um, then we'll just kind of go to, uh, we'll do it like 11 a.m. So I could add an additional date. So if we want to have like multi-date bookings, so we can have that uh, here. And then I can also add these different uh, included and in additional services. I can just, uh, click on these additional services right here, say for instance, session audio engineer, and that will actually kind of um, populate, you can see right here, real time on the front end, this actual booking breakdown. So we'll just say that this is the actual kind of um, time, date, and services that I intend to request uh, for the listing. So um, I'll click on request to book, and then you can see it loads right here. You'll see that we do have this uh, information right here. So you can see that we do require government issued ID, um, this just, uh, we make this clear right here as far as like our site policy and it is a little bit of friction in the booking process. Um, but that way we want to, uh, heavily, um, message and reinforce, um, our kind of, uh, this, this, um, I would say the policy that we have and that way it increases the trust and kind of safety in our site. So we do require you to, to click on, I agree to bring my government issued ID. Um, also the studio's uh, cancellation policy. And then kind of down here, you can see in a message, um, say for instance, you know, how you want to use the studio. So I could say like, hey, yeah, I want to, um, you know, uh, say for instance, I want to um, basically record some vocals and then I, you know, basically like cut in some something on it, right? So you could add that right here. Um, and then below it, uh, you'll see that we do mention that the payment is handled by the studio. So once you do that, then you would click on send booking request. And as you can see over here, um, we also mentioned uh, have like a booking breakdown for all the amounts. You'll notice that we don't have any uh, marketplace fees anymore. Um, so since we did remove the kind of uh, collecting payments, we don't have any fees on the artist side or the user booking side at all. It's completely free. So uh, we'll just go down here and click on send booking request. So once I click on that, then the request is sent. So here's the actual confirmation uh, screen for or state for the booking request sent. So you'll see the messaging right here as far as um, that we notified them of the booking request sent. Then down below right here, you can see the activity feed. So this is basically like the main kind of message activity state for each individual booking request. So real time, if this uh, if the studio accepts it, um, sends a message back, denies it, anything that'll show up right here on the activity feed, I'll get an email notification. I can come right here and easily reply, and reply to it. So of course, over here is the kind of booking breakdown. So I can see this um, since it is specific to that uh, booking request. So how that actually looks in my uh, user inbox. So if I am a user, say for instance, an artist and sent that request, here's my inbox. I can see it right here. And then uh, I can click on the individual request right here. So that's the uh, the entire kind of process um, from a user or an artist that is um, looking to request uh, to book a studio on studio time. And once again, I just want to uh, do kind of like a, a brief kind of product walkthrough because um, it's definitely overdue since I did a lot of the other videos talking about, um, you know, studio time. 
uh, actually processing uh, payments. Uh, so I want to do just a update on this. So that way uh, you guys can see from a user or artist side what that flow looked like from the uh, current live studio time site. So having said that, I also want to show you what it looks like from the actual kind of studio side. So I'm going to log out of my account on studio time. I'll just log back in as over here. So now I'm logged in as a studio. So this is my user account as a studio and that was my listing. So you'll see right here, that was actually the one that um, I requested to book. So how that looks on my messages over here, you can see right here. So this is the other account that I just kind of demoed it and sent a booking request. You can see over here the state is pending, right? So here's uh, how I would actually accept it or I could decline the request. And we do message to the studio right here, of course, that uh, to basically, you know, uh, you're accountable for collecting the payment um, off our platform. And this is fairly straightforward. So uh, here's the kind of booking breakdown. As you notice right here, of course, we don't have any studio time fees. So the entire booking amount goes directly to the studio. Um, so for instance, in this case, let's just accept it, right? So I accepted the request. So you'll see real time that basically on the transaction, as I mentioned, this kind of uh, activity feed on the user side for the artist, they would get an email notification saying it was accepted. Um, and then here's that, how that kind of shows up on, uh, on my screen and obviously on theirs too. So we did add this cool kind of feature over here. So you can see payment due. So we know we basically have this in red right here. So that way as a studio, if I get an email and I come here and I accept it and I message them back, um, I can easily kind of track right here if the payment's due or not, or I could click on mark as paid. So if I click on mark as paid, that'll actually uh, change the state of this. So we'll go over here, right? So back to my inbox. So here's my studio bookings. You can see over here that we have like a little kind of um, some text to call it out that says payment due. So um, what that is, is it basically makes it easy for the studios to track if the payment's due or not. So I'll just click it on mark as paid. So you can see right here when I click on that, it shows like a paid tag. So that way as a studio, I can easily manage my bookings and payments collected or not. So we'll go back to the inbox over here. We see it as accepted and then also paid. So this is kind of like a lightweight way to track not only bookings over here through the kind of like user inbox um, on their dashboard for the studio, but also kind of mark as paid or not. So uh, once again, I just wanted to show you kind of like a brief uh, product walkthrough of studio time from a user or an artist that's looking to request and book a studio and how that uh, kind of the user flows work without actually um, collecting the payments on our marketplace uh, platform. And then also on the studio side, uh, what that looks like from, from their end and their kind of user experience and then how we kind of built out these kind of lightweight features that allow them to easily ac uh, accept or deny and then mark payments as um, paid or not. And so that way they can easily track them and uh, that way it'd be easy for them to have multiple booking requests through studio time. So you can see it right here, these are kind of requests and this is what it looks like when you have multiple requests and then we uh and then quite a few requests over here so i hopefully found this video helpful um i'll probably do a video talking about why we remove payments and don't uh, actually process payments on studio time anymore and then more on our subscription uh model since that is our, our primary form of monetization right now um but uh yeah if you have any questions uh, definitely comment below uh, i try to reply to all the comments and then do videos based off uh, what you want to hear next thanks